The Star Wars universe showcases a diverse array of extraordinary and colossal spacecraft. These ships are vital to the franchise and encompass a variety of vessels, including starfighters, military cruisers, and star destroyers. Our channel has curated a compilation of the 15 most colossal star destroyers ever documented or witnessed. And you will be astounded to learn that the famous Imperial Star Destroyer does not meet the criteria for inclusion on this list. Number 15 on this list, we have Resurgent Class. Resurgent Class Star Destroyers were at least 2,916 meters long and 1,483 meters wide. Forming the backbone of the First Order Navy, the Resurgent Star Destroyer was well ahead of its time and had virtually no equal by the time it entered into active service. The Resistance during that time knew that at least 30 Resurgent Class Star Destroyers were present among the First Order forces. Number 14. Impeller Class After the first Death Star was destroyed, an Impeller Class fleet carrier was built. It had a lot of room inside for a large group of TIE fighters, TIE bombers, and a company of TIE defenders. The Impeller Class was a fleet carrier, but it had strong turbo lasers and iron guns. The vessel was estimated to be 3,550 meters long. Number 13. Procurator Class The Procurator Battle Cruiser was an immense vessel, measuring 4,300 meters in length. It was specifically engineered and constructed for the purpose of safeguarding its own system, ensuring the security of its precious shipyards and population centers. The ships were constructed with the dual purpose of impressing new clients and serving as a home defense fleet. Additionally, they functioned as venues for several corporate meetings. Next, we have the Compeller class. The battle cruiser of the Compeller class was both a carrier and a destroyer. At that time, it was the most advanced Imperial warship, and no other warlord group had a ship that was even close. Even though it was never used to fight New Republic ships, it had an effect on New Republic worlds that weren't well protected. The carrier was roughly 4,500 meters long. 11. Tyran Missile Cruiser The Tyran-class missile cruiser was a capital ship and missile cruiser with a total length of 5,000 meters. Its main armament was missile launchers, though it had powerful secondary armaments such as turbo lasers and laser cannons. The ship was large enough to qualify as a Star Dreadnought and had the capability to decimate scores of capital ships. Number 10. Bellator Class The Bellator was a huge capital ship and a fast Dreadnought that could speed up at the same rate as an Imperial Star Destroyer. The ship's role in the line of battle was essentially to charge the enemy fleet and make holes in their formation savaging enemy capital ships with its enormous firepower and causing them to scatter, allowing lesser Star Destroyers and other Imperial capital ships to move in and finish off the resulting isolated pockets. Next, Mandator 4 class. Mandator 4 was a model of Siege Dreadnought utilized by the First Order during the Cold War against the New Republic and during the First Order Resistance War. It was two and a half times the length of the Resurgent Class Star Destroyer, coming in at 7,669.71 meters. The vessel was so large that it boasted a crew of 53,000 officers, 140,000 enlisted personnel, and 22,000 stormtroopers. At number 8, we have Preter II Class. Considered the largest battlecruiser design known, the Preter II possessed a dagger shape similar to other prominent warships and Star Destroyer design family. It possessed at least 90 weapon systems, including various spherical turrets on the dorsal, ventral, and trench areas of the ship. In addition, it also possessed hull armor and deflector shields thick enough, as well as strong enough to repel conventional blaster bolts. Number 7. We have Legator Class 
First and foremost, the legator is meant to be a superior warship on the field of battle. Legator has been heavily equipped with a large assortment of powerful weaponry. Its gun count reaches up to the thousands and its power is immeasurable. The 10,000 meter dreadnought is yet another addition to the many powerful star dreadnoughts under the Sith Empire. Next, we have the Mandator 3. The Mandator 3 class was one of the several heavy capital ship classes. It participated in the campaign leading up to the Imperial Civil War. Able to hold roughly 384 aircraft, plus additional squadrons of shuttles, Wakas barges, and etc. At 12,000 meters in length, it was essentially a scaled up version of the Mandators. 5. Acerta class The Acerta class dreadnought saw use in the Imperial era during the time of the Rebel Alliance. The 15,000 meter vessel was characterized by its long, thin arrow shaped hull. To fulfill its roles, the Acerta class was equipped with numerous sophisticated communications and long-range sensor suites. The Acerta was tasked with fulfilling several roles, including fleet and sector patrol duties and fleet operations. Next, we have Eclipse class. These massive Eclipse class cruisers were some of the largest superstar destroyers ever built, measuring 17,500 meters long. The most powerful weapon aboard these ships was an axial super laser, which could break through planetary shields, fracture a planet's crust, and scorch entire land masses. Additionally, it was used in battles to destroy enemy capital ships and space stations. Number 3. The Executor Class Vessels of the Executor Class Dreadnought line measured at 19,000 meters in length. It was also the personal flagship of the Sith, Lord Darth Vader. The Executor class boasted an armament of unimaginable firepower, over 5,000 turbo lasers. Additionally, it possessed 125 assault concussion missile launchers, 100 twin battleship ion cannons, and 250 turret mountain quad laser cannons. Number 2. Vengeance class Measuring the same length as the Executor class, the Vengeance class has a long sword like appearance without a handle. Dark Jedi Jarek used this ship to search for the Valley of the Jedi. After escaping Order 66, Jarek turned to the dark side and became an Inquisitor. The ship is known to carry TIE LN starfighters and assault shuttles, but its full capabilities are not well documented. And our number one, we have the Mega Class. Also known as the Supremacy, the Mega Class made its first appearance in The Last Jedi. The Supremacy was the sole Mega Class in the First Order service, with a colossal wingspan of 60,543 meters. These proportions made the Supremacy the largest capital ship in galactic history. Its construction was undertaken on an unprecedented scale. As the First Order's headquarters, the starship acted both as a command center and a battleship. This massive ship was larger than any other known ships in galactic history. And with that, we've come to the end. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for new videos. See you in the next one. Take care.